Suppose the system below is consistent for all possible values of f and g. So based on that, what can we say about the coefficients of c and d? Okay, so to answer this question, we need to first put this, uh, we have a uh, linear system here, so we need to put this in matrix form and then uh, do a row operation to put this in echelon form and then do, and then do some analysis. Okay, let's, so let's first put this into uh, matrix form. Okay, so we have 1, 3, F, and we have C, D, and G. Okay. So since we have C in, this, in the second row first column, then we're going to take minus C times row 1 add it to row 2 and store it in row 2. Okay. So we have minus C times row 1, add it to row 2, and store that result in row 2. Okay, so we end up getting the 1, 3, F. Okay, this will be 0. And then we have D minus 3C. and then G minus CF. Okay, so now we need to carefully analyze this equation here. Okay. Okay, so looking at equation two, okay, that is we have D minus three C times x1, okay, so d minus 3c times x, no, not x1, x2 actually, sorry, x2 equals to g minus cf, okay. All right, so, um, so first we need to consider um, the fact that uh, f, g, and c may all equal to zero. Okay, so what happens? If F, G, C are all equal to zero. Okay. And we also need to consider that X2 is not equal to zero. So let's first consider that. So first, so let's assume that x2 is not equal to 0. Okay. So if f, g, and c are all equal to 0, okay, that would mean that on the right-hand side of this equation, okay, we have 0 here, right? Okay. And since x2 is not equal to 0, then that would mean, that would imply that d minus 3c must be equal to 0. Okay. Right, so this implies that d minus 3c must be equal to 0. Okay. And this algebraically is the same as saying d must be equal to 3 times c. Okay. Or d is it d could be equal to c, which can both be equal to zero. Okay. So those are the those are the possibilities for this situation. Okay. We have d equals to three c, or d and c are both zero. Okay. All right. So now let's assume that x two is equal to zero. In that case, so we have, okay, so we still have that, we still have that this is equal to zero, and x2 is equal to zero now, okay, 
So in that case, D and C could be any values. Okay. Okay, so in this case, D right, and C can be any values. Okay, um, again, because, right, we have D minus 3C, well, regardless, that could be zero, or that could be something non-zero. But in any, in any case, if we multiply it by X2, and X2 is zero, we're going to get zero. Okay, all right, and that's what we're assuming here. We're assuming that G, C, and F is equal to zero. So now, let's look at what happens if F, G, and C is not equal to zero. Okay, so the second case. Okay. In other words, better yet, let's consider that uh, g minus c, g minus c f is is not equal to zero. Okay. Okay. All right. So. And again, let's assume that um, that x2 is not 0. OK, so we have, okay, going back to equation 2, OK, so we have, this time we have something that's not 0, OK. So G minus CF particular, right? It's not zero. And X2 is not zero. Okay. Okay. So that would mean that D minus 3C must not equal to zero. Okay. Because if it were zero, if it were zero then we would have zero times X2, which is zero in this, in this case. And we would end up getting zero. And that's not what we're assuming here. We're assuming that G minus CF is not zero. Okay. All right. So this implies that D minus 3C is not equal to zero. Okay. And algebraically, this is the same thing as D cannot be equal to 3C. Okay. So now let's assume that uh, x2 is 0. Okay, if x2 were 0 and g minus cf is not equal to 0, okay, then we get no solution here. Okay. All right. Okay, so this implies that there are no there are no uh, values. of D and C that makes this system consistent. Okay. All right, so there's, okay, so we don't need to worry about that case because it will never happen. It will never be consistent if, okay. Um, so, the, so the values, okay, so we know that, okay, if F, G, and C is equal to zero, and assuming that X2 is not zero, 
uh, then that means d is equal to 3c or d is equal to c which is which are both going to be zero if g minus cf is not zero and x2 is not zero then uh, for then we get that d is not equal to 3 times c okay all right so those are the three outcomes that we have for this all right so um, so we start out by writing the system in, in the matrix form. We did a row operation to put an echelon form, and then we and go through and do some uh, analysis. Okay, uh, basically algebraic analysis is what we did here. Okay, so when you're doing these type of problems, um, you got to consider every possible case. It's very important math, and it's going to be used later on in this uh, in, in this course. Okay.